high fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. And those of you cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Um, today we're going to take a look at and see whether this is love or lust, whether they have feelings for you. Um, you know, are they romantic? What sorts of feelings? This is going to be a general reading, guys. So please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just before just below the video here okay I want you to take a moment I want you to think I want you to think of your special person your romantic energy hold a vision of them in your mind and we'll see what messages come up for you Okay, there's quite an emotional depth to this reading and I feel like the both of you have you know you share quite um, a deep emotional connection but there's also a strong um, you know sexual attraction the two of you feel towards one another I feel like this is a type of connection that is both compassion like passionate and compassionate here it feels like you know it's both lust and love it's a type of connection where I feel like the both of you are or can be emotionally vulnerable with with each other and I do feel like there can be a place of, and a, like a feeling of uh, sec security in the relationship or in this connection. There's some very distinct, profound feelings here. Okay, strong levels of attraction, but I also feel like attachment as well. I feel like this person. Um, I'm getting a lot of feelings associated with excitement, with cravings for emotional connection, um, just maybe even obsessive thinking it's like when this person is constantly thinking about you they feel very attracted to you they feel very drawn to you i'm also feel i'm also seeing that there are feelings of um like this person has love on their brain and their feelings that um that sort of elicit this high here the two of you also have an emotional union and there's all sorts of emotions it's a mixed bag of emotions you know, there's uh, com compassion, there's love, there's lust, there's attachment, there's an emotional union, there's security, there's attraction. I feel like this person, this was, this definitely wasn't a connection that was slow to develop. I think this may have been very instant or this may have happened very um, quickly here okay like uh, admiration or you know signs of sexual attraction here from um, or physical arousal here from the very beginning okay so this person definitely I feel like this may have been an instant attraction instant connection maybe this person even fell in love with you at first sight here this, this is someone who is excited to see you they're excited um, to be with you they love being around you it's like, as i've mentioned it's almost like this feeling of you know them being high on a drug it's i feel like there's a lot going on here there's a lot going on here i think this is some of it feels like it's a very wild romantic adventure and you know and some of it it may feel like it's characterized by lust and and because of that, if you know, lust is sometimes a projection of what we want to see rather than the reality of the person and the situation. Other times, it does feel like it's love. It's um, you know, it's this love is an attachment perspective, right? And it's it's this feeling of um, secure, secureness. It's security. It's this feeling of deep affection, of trust, and of acceptance here of a person. It just feels like there's a lot of emotions here. Love and lust are not identical, okay? But I do feel like there's a lot, there's there's both here. And sometimes I feel like 
this person may be a little bit overwhelmed by the emotions that sometimes they can fluctuate between those two different states of emotion over time which makes sense because I feel like this is someone who maybe comes on very strong and at times the connection is very hot and heavy and then it slows down right so they can be sometimes inconsistent with their behavior um, or what they say or do here because they're fluctuating between um, these two very different states love and lust I do feel like they want to do the, they want to do the hard work though. I, I feel like this person wants to do the hard work. I do feel like this person is developing trust, and I do feel like this is someone who will want, who will want commitment over a long period of time. There is a thrill. I feel like there's a fantasy and there's an excitement here that comes with your interaction with one another. Um, I just think you're on the way to pushing past because I feel like there's a strong physical attraction and there's room and depth in this connection for so much more. But it feels like, you know, it may slow down at times, but love needs to slow itself down to feel a little bit steady and a little bit secure. Um, they do feel a bit like an addiction, in case okay? so sometimes they, they talk about you a lot, they think about you a lot, and lust can feel like, can feel a bit obsessive, whereas love feels a little bit more, it holds a bit more of a balanced perspective, a balanced approach, and it allows for... The person to feel to live a more balanced life but love it, it, you know it, it's it, it feels like an addiction and it's it consumes your mental space and it is something that does dissipate over time but you know lust is important because it's the romantic glue that holds two partners together so whilst this is a very strong sense of attraction i do feel like it can or if it hasn't yet gradually develop into a relationship or into you know it's strong sense of attraction that starts off at lust but will gradually develop into love like the two of you feel very drawn to each other and you want to be close to each other and around each other all the time um, I do feel like you know it's slowly there is going to be this I think it's going to move into a different stage. I see it moving into a new stage and this could be the phase of commitment and the phase of growth. And this is sort of like a tidal wave of emotion is going to overcome you. Okay, so I feel like this person finds themselves in a sea of overwhelming emotions when it comes to you. And sometimes they come on very strong, other times they pull back to get a sense of safety and control because it's a tidal wave of emotions that they uh, feel themselves drowning under. It, I feel like there's a lot of, it, it's not in between, it's, it's in between. I think there's a lot, there's a lot happening here. And instead of maybe trying to define this relationship, maybe just, you know, go with the flow, see where all of this takes you. Because I think, you know, there's room in this connection for this to be so much more. There is. Look, this person could already be, you know, they may have, look, and there's no, no one narrative that's going to fit you, fit all of your stories, right? This is someone whom you might have spent just one night with, okay? And you might have fallen in love with them. Or this is someone whom, you know, you might be in love with. And, you know, you might have only recently fallen in love with them after having known this person all these years. So no narrative is right or wrong. And yeah, you can love someone that you're not sexually attracted to. Not all that much anyways. But I think something about this feels like you kind of You've awakened a sense of desire in each other. So I feel like this is love and lust and everything else in between, guys. Alright, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please share your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel.